This is KNEV.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meats. Not a bad looking evening. We're going to have clear skies. It will cloud up as we go through the day tomorrow, and we'll see an increase of clouds and another cold one tomorrow. This roller coaster won't seem to give, give away. Much colder tomorrow. We'll turn nicer Thursday, Friday, and most of Saturday, although Saturday is going to be a bit breezy. Then colder comes Sunday with off and on snow flurry and chances, uh, especially tomorrow and then again Sunday into early next week. We only hit 40 after a low of 35, so we were just stuck. Didn't really move anywhere yesterday. 56 and 26 are normal highs and lows. Dropped in another six hundredths of an inch of rain. Uh, we're right where we should be for the month. Early start to November, still almost four inches above normal for the year. Here's 53 in Denver. It's only 25, though. Look at that in Watertown. 31 in Sioux Falls, that colder air shunted off to the northeast, but have no fear. It's going to backdoor itself right into here across the region tonight into tomorrow. It's 49 right now, Ogallala, 51 in Torrington, 47 over in Cheyenne. Winds are out of the west southwest, 5 to 15 miles an hour. Let's take a look at uh, your bus stop forecast getting on there tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. Temperatures in the upper 20s and will be more overcast on the way home. Only at 31. We're not going to move much again tomorrow and can't rule out a few flurries here and there across the region. So tonight, that's not going to be a problem. Clear skies. Here come the clouds from the north, bringing that cold air back in. You'll see that snow start to fill in on an isolated basis tomorrow. Low temperatures aren't going to be too cold thanks to those clouds coming in. Low to mid 20s across most of the region. A few upper 20s as well. Here come the clouds by tomorrow morning. They drift south and west across our region. Off and on snow flurries. A hit or miss, so you can see not everybody's going to get them, but you can't rule out one or two of them across the area through the afternoon and evening hours. Maybe a slightly more concentrated band of snow setting up tomorrow evening. Again, it's all going to be very light, not going to experience a lot in the way of snowfall totals. Colder temps to the north tomorrow, where those clouds settle in early, will be only in the upper 20s to low 30s, upper 30s to near 40 down along that I-80 corridor. And snowfall totals are very light. Nobody picking up really a whole lot. Everybody under an inch, I think, uh, as we go through the area. Don't, nobody, I think, going to get overly uh, heavy snow out of this storm system. Clear skies tonight, light and variable winds, 25. Not bad tomorrow. Cloudy, colder, much colder, in fact, only 35 degrees. There will be some flurries or light snow showers. They're not going to amount to much. And then our seven day forecast back into the 40s on Thursday. We turn a lot nicer Friday near 60 Saturday, a bit breezy. Sunday becomes a transition day uh, and a big transition at that. Maybe getting up uh, into some near 50 degree readings Sunday during the day, Sunday night into Monday, much colder. Temps fall back down into the teens and highs Monday and Tuesday only in the 30s as colder air sets back in.